All right, uh, for this kind of combination question, actually I discussed quite, quite a lot of time in my video, but still a lot of students ask me, so I decided to make one more video, like especially for this kind of marble questions. Okay, the question is given something like this. You have nine marbles and you need to like divide equally to three different children. And then like you need to find a number of ways you can do in this. All right, so imagine if you have nine marbles, you want to divide equally to three different children. Uh, yeah, three, three different kids here. Let's say kids A, B, and C here. So first thing is you need to know how to divide equally. So like nine, if you want to divide equally to three, so you just do nine over three, isn't it? You will get three. That means each children should get three marble. So that means the three marble here, I will give to the first children. And then another three marble here, I will give to second children. And another three marble here, I can get to the last children. You might ask, what if you randomly pick like three marble like this or like this, will you change the result? No, because it's the same. Because over here, we we'll assume all the nine marble is identical marble. Mean all the nine marble here is exactly the same. We assume it's exactly the same. So we just randomly pick any of the three marble here to give to the first children. And then another three marble here to give to the second kids. And then the last three marble to give to the last kids over here. So how, how do you do this? First thing is you have to think whether you should use MPR or NCR. But because in this case, the arrangement, it doesn't matter because all the nine marble here is exactly the same. So we will never use permutation in this kind of question. We will only use uh, combination. So in order to use the combination, so actually it's quite simple. So I have nine marble here. I will choose three for my first children. And then I have left six, isn't it? After I give three already, I only left six marble. I choose another three for my second kids here. And then the last three marble, I will choose three for the last three. And the important is, this is the same cases, right? Because it's not all, it's first kids and second kids and third kids. So you can realize it's N between. It's not like I want to give the first kid or second kids or third kid. If it's N, then we do multiply. If or, then we do plus. All right, so therefore, you basically multiply and then you kind of can use the calculator to do this, so I will just use the calculator quickly type on this and then I should be able to get the answer easily. So the answer should be 1680. Alright, so this kind of question actually is not very hard, but then you need to understand like how are you going to give the mark marble to all these kids. Actually, another similar question is like eight children, uh, I mean like eight students, they want to go to one place, they, they got actually booking two taxi. So how are, how are they going to arrange them into the two taxi if like each taxi can only fix four students, something like this. So let's say, let's say similar one, let's say I have eight students here and then we want to go into two taxi taxi number one and taxi number two and assume each of the taxi can fix four students only. So first one, first four students will go into the first taxi and another four students will go into the second taxi. So the number of way of uh, arrange them to, not to say arrange, number of way to, to make both of the, all of the eight students can fix into two different taxi. So what we will do is we will choose the eight student from eight student here, we will choose four to fix in the first taxi. And then we have another four student left. We'll sit on the another taxi. And then you type in the calculator. You should get uh, another answer here, which is number of way of arranging them. So which is 70 ways. All right, so yeah, this kind of question is quite famous and is I, I will call it quite common for, no matter you are taking SPM syllabus or IGCS, IGCSE syllabus. Anyways, I hope you learned something from this video. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.